Okay, so I had a number of requests to do tutorials on these albums that I made using the envelope and frame card sets that you can buy from Recollections from Michaels. So we are going to start with this album here. Um, they come together pretty easily, so hopefully this won't be too many videos, although other feedback I have also gotten is that people prefer shorter videos, but more of them, so for tutorials. So let's get started. Okay, so I am going to use this paper collection. This is the Once Upon a Time stack from Die Cuts with a View. Um, I have two of them. I've had them for a very long time. Um, so I just went ahead and pulled out one um, page of each design, uh, and I'm gonna put that to the side for the time being. And we are going to start with our cover, like we always do. So this measures five inches by six inches. So five inches by six inches. And the spine is one, or is two and three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna need two pieces of chipboard cut to five by six, and one piece cut to six by two and three quarters. So I'm using this combination. These are actually cream ones or ivory ones. Um, and this is white paper from Recollections. So I know it seems kind of weird, but as you can see, they do mostly go together. Um, my original ones with the craft weren't identical matches for colors, but they work really, really well. So, here are my pieces of chipboard. I have two, again, that are five by six, and then one that is six by two and three quarters. So I'm gonna grab a couple pieces of cardstock, and I'm gonna put these together. So we are going to have something that looks like this, but I'm gonna cut this paper down a little bit because this cardstock one piece isn't quite enough, but two pieces is way more than what we actually need. So I am going to cut this down. And I'm just going to lightly mark where I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to cut these down first. those to the side because you never know when you might be able to use them and then my other piece I am going to cut down to the other mark set that to the side and now we're just going to glue these together You can use double-sided adhesive if you want for this. I'm just going to press that down and then we are going to glue these on as well. So here we are. And again, you can use double-sided adhesive for this. I just like the adhesion that I get with my liquid adhesive. Although on lar larger albums, I do use double-sided adhesive as well as liquid adhesive. Just because I like to be really sure that things stay stuck. So I'm just gonna use my We Are Memory Keepo Keepers book cover tool.
but this is about an eighth of an inch so, so long as you you know leave it at about an eighth of an inch between the covers and the spine you should be fine So this tool also allows for cutting your corners properly. Uh, I do have another acrylic tool that I also use. I'm just going to mark these really quick with my pencil and then cut them with my scissors. Uh, but this is a metal tool, so you could definitely use a craft knife without having any issues. So again, I'm just snipping these off. Throw that in the garbage. And then we're gonna work on binding this. So I'm gonna grab some of my scrapbook.com um, quarter inch double-sided adhesive. And I'm just gonna run it around the outside on all four sides. Set that to the side, burnish all of that down. Just gonna get my fold started here. And then I'm just, this is a weeding tool. Um, this is a Cricut one. I just find it really, really, makes it easier to pull up your backing from double-sided adhesive. And I'm just going to lay some liquid glue along here as well. And then I'm just going to press it up and keep it nice and straight and flat. And then I'm gonna burnish it down. I'll turn it around and do the other side. it up flat and burnish it down and then I'm going to take my Teflon bone folder and press in my little corners here so that I get a nice flat clean corner and then I'm going to fold and fold take off the backing add some more glue always got to have lots of glue and then push it up Press it down and we'll do our last side here. Press it up. And then as a Last little bit, we're just going to 
push in our creases here for the spine. And there we have our base for our cover. So the next thing that we're going to work on is creating our binding and covering this. So this is obviously not big enough or this is too big to use just a single piece of paper. So I am going to do one that is five and three quarters by about eight and a half. And then I'm gonna do one that is four and three quarters by five and three quarters for the back. So we need to cut one to five and three quarters by eight and a half. And then we need another one that is five and three quarters by four and three quarters. So grabbing our cover, this is going to be this where this seam is. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, where this seam is, this is going to be our back. So we want to make sure that our back is on the right. And we are going to lay this down here just like this. And I am just going to use liquid glue. And you want to make sure that you get the glue really tight to the edges. you definitely want to make sure this sticks really really well so I'm doing very light application of the glue but making sure that I'm getting really good coverage and then I'm just going to cover the rest of my page and then before I lay this down I'm going to go here along these edges and cover them in adhesive as well and again, you can do this with some double-sided adhesive if that's what you're comfortable with. And then I'm just going to lay it down in the center, just like this. And then I'm just going to go over it with my bone folder because I want to make sure that I get really good adhesion on that. And then on the seams for our spine, we're going to go over those as well. So, remember you don't want to press too hard because if you press too hard, you can go right through the paper. You're kind of trying to expand the fibers in the paper, just like that. I'll do the other side. And now we will lay our second piece that we cut. Again, this was four and three quarters by five and three quarters. We're gonna lay that down over top of the back. gonna lay this down just like this and there we go so that's our cover and now we're gonna work on the binding for our pages okay so I have cut two sets because we're, we're not gonna stack this all on top of each other we're gonna do two sets of stacked binding so I cut two pieces to five and three quarters by two inches I cut two pieces to five and three quarters by one and a half inch and then I cut two pieces to three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters of an inch and we are gonna go ahead and score all of these. So 
So grabbing the one that is two inches wide, we're gonna score at a half an inch and one and a half inches. I'm just turning around here because I don't like scoring close to my scoreboard. And then the one that is one and a half inches wide, we're gonna score at half an inch and one inch. And then the one that is three quarters of an inch, we are going to score at a half an inch. And we can put our scoreboard to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and create our stacked binding. So go through all six pieces and fold on your score lines. I'm just gonna go ahead and burnish all of those down. Once you have all of those burnished down, we're going to separate our two sets. So each set will have one, two by five and three quarters, one, one and a half by five and three quarters, and one five and three quarters by three quarters. And they're gonna get glued together and stacked together. So taking the piece that is five and three quarters by one and a half, on this middle section here between your two score lines, we're going to apply adhesive. Making sure you get really good coverage but that you don't over glue and this is going to go in the center of your one that is two inches wide and then you're going to take your one that is three quarters of an inch wide and on the piece that is only a quarter of an inch, you're going to add glue on that as well. Again, making sure that you have really good coverage, but that you don't over glue. And then this, you're gonna line the edge of this quarter inch piece up with the score line on the right on the pieces that you already stacked together just like that and you are going to repeat that with your other set all right, so going back to our cover that we finished, we are going to take our two sets of binding and they're gonna be glued down a quarter of an inch in on both sides, so front and back, and a quarter of an inch apart from each other. So we are going to flip it over and on the middle section that should be one inch wide, we're going to apply adhesive. Make sure you have a good, good grip on this. And again, you wanna make sure that you get really good coverage, but you don't wanna to apply too much. So light hand with the glue, but covered well. And then we are just going to lay this down about an inch. Just like this. And you're gonna just go ahead and do that same thing on the other side as well. Leaving about a quarter of an inch on this side and a quarter of an inch between this binding and this binding.
and then press it down. And this is what we will be adhering our envelopes to. So. All right, so that's the end of today's tutorial. Next time we will be moving on to working on the inside of the mini album. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, and as always, if you are interested in seeing more, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!